Let's take a look at some of the skills that you need to be a financial modeler, as well as how you can go about getting those skills. We know that uh, Excel skills is really important. So that's down as number one. So it's pretty hard to be a good financial modeler if you haven't got really good Excel skills, but that's something that you, that you can that you can certainly learn. Things like industry knowledge, so knowing your industry, understanding uh, the things that are important for your industry. Accounting and finance, so you don't necessarily have to be an accountant, but you do need to know a lot of accounting. You need to know, um, you know how to put together a balance sheet, uh, finance, that sort of thing. Business knowledge, you know, is it a good investment? You know, what interest rate would, should we use? Design skills is important as well. So the layout of a model. So how should it look? Um, you know, what's the what does it look like um, to make it logical and 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 and, uh, and easy to follow? Communication and language skills. So uh, you you are the model. You're the person who's actually put it together. They want to hear from you. So you often have to be the one to present. The model to show the outputs or to present to your team or to your executives. Uh, so having good communication skills, being able to present the model is um, is important. Numeracy skills, probably the hardest uh, thing to learn, but you're probably a, a fairly numerate person if you go uh, into a career as a financial modeler or certainly using Excel. And lastly, logic. So the ability, so financial models um, or Excel in general is very logical. So being able to think through the logic of the financial model is, uh, is important. So all of those things uh, you need uh, to be to be able to call yourself a financial modeler. So financial modeling is an absolutely wonderful career. I highly recommend it. A really good starting point. So having really good Excel skills is a, an absolutely fantastic starting point to launch into the wonderful world of financial modeling. Um, it is such a fantastic skill to have, certainly. Um, I highly recommend that you uh, that you put it on your resume. Uh, think about you know whether you can put financial modeling on your resume. If you have been doing, if a lot of the things that we've talked about today resonate with you, if it's something that you are doing as part of your job, then definitely put financial modeling on your resume. Be careful not to exaggerate. Financial modeling it does need to ring true with the rest of your resume. So try to um, you, you know make sure that you're able to give practical application of financial modeling in your everyday work. So if you are going for an interview, so you put financial modeling on your resume or on your LinkedIn profile or whatever. So if you get an interview, you need to be able to say, hey, I've, I've, I went on this financial modeling course. No, they're not going to care about that. They want to make sure that the um, employer wants to know that you you can actually apply, you can build a financial model in your everyday work. So make sure that you take every opportunity to apply your financial modeling skills. So it is kind of hard, like if you, um, in your job, if you uh, have an opportunity to build a model, great, take any opportunity you can. You don't always get an opportunity to do that though. So um, there's lots and lots of online resources that you can use, lots of opportunities where you can apply your skills. Uh, the Financial Modeling World Cup is a really good place to uh, to start. Definitely, uh, they um, they every month there is. It's really quite difficult. There are some very difficult cases, uh, but every month there is a financial modeling. Um, uh, competition so you can enter and uh, if you if you do well there's some amazing really really good prizes to win if you are not necessarily a financial modeler but really good at Excel uh, we have the um, financial modeling World Cup FMWC open that's coming up uh, the first rounds are starting on the 30th of November this year so I definitely recommend that you um, that you have a look at that. Uh, there's some fantastic prizes. Did I mention that? So uh, and it's a great way to um, to improve your modeling skills because you often get given the um, the completed version. So when you compete each month, you get a chance to uh, to solve these cases. And uh, at the end of it, they'll actually send you the completed solution. So it's a fantastic way to, uh, to learn and to improve your modeling and Excel skills. 
One of the other things that you can do is to become a certified financial modeler. So uh, you can sit an exam uh, where you have to build a full financial model, a P&L, a cash flow and a balance sheet in four hours. So that is something that if you are wanting to prove you are a financial modeler uh, you could uh, certainly get that qualification which is uh, which would be would be great I am constantly frustrated by the lack of women in financial modeling um, particularly in the financial modeling world cup and a lot of the uh, competitions to do with the Excel there's not very many women um, in the industry so I have set up a meetup group uh, specifically for women in financial modeling so if you are a woman that is uh, interested in financial modeling or wanting to pursue financial modeling as a career I would love to uh, to have you join uh, and um, and be part of this so uh, one of the things that we do is get together and train and um, and we all really support each other for competing in the financial modeling world cup but we also get together over zoom of course so that's all that it's all online it's a post pandemic uh, meetup group so the sessions are all uh, free to attend and uh, we discuss topics and talk about um, a different different things relating to to financial modeling um, uh, yeah so uh, that's uh, something that's um, that's that's very close to my heart. It's trying to uh, to improve uh, or to increase the number of women in the industry. So, I uh, I run lots of uh, lots of meetup groups, and not just for women. Uh, we have got them. Uh, we've got them every every couple of weeks. Uh, you can find um, all of the meetups that we have got. We've got more coming up. So I'm sure that by the by the time you uh, you have a look, you'll see that there are several more available. Uh, you can go to plumsolutions.com.au um, meetup. Uh, those are all free online sessions, and um, and I would absolutely love to see you at one of those. So that is just about it from me. I would love to hear from you. I do post quite a lot on uh, on LinkedIn. I'm always talking about my favorite topic, which is financial modeling and uh, in Excel, of course. So do feel free to drop me a, um, a connection request. I'd love to hear from you.